Car thieves don't usually target police cruisers, but one did, taking off with a backseat passenger who'd just been arrested. Topping our news tonight at 6, an Oak Park police officer was very aware of a man lingering near the car of the woman he had just arrested. But that officer couldn't have imagined the man would jump into his police cruiser and take off. The ensuing chase spanned several miles through Oak Park. Local 4's Coco McAvoy joins us live from that city's police department. And Coco, you just spoke with a woman who was in handcuffs in the back of that police cruiser when it was stolen. What did she have to say? Yes, Kimberly and Devin. Shanae Hunter spoke to us right after leaving the police department here this evening, and she says she knows she was in the wrong, but what happened to her early this morning was downright terrifying. And she said when she asked the man why he was doing all of this, his answer was quite odd. I was scared, nervous, crying. Shanae Hunter says this all started at around 4 o'clock in the morning on 8 Mile Road. Last night I was pulled over, I had a flat tire and the police came behind me and they handcuffed me and put me in the back of that car. She just left her friend's party and police say she was driving drunk. Then when they did that, they was getting my property out of my car and a random guy, I don't know, I never seen him before. He pulls off with the car. We speeds up eight mile. He hit two parked cars. She says she was flying all over the back seat of the police cruiser. And the man's reason for doing all of this? While I'm in the car, I'm asking him, why are you doing this? Can you stop? And he told me that the police was trying to kill me. Police chased the man down until he hit a dead end near Nine Mile. The man and Hunter were both taken into custody. Uh, my family didn't even know where I was at. Now police are left with two damaged police cruisers and a lot of questions after this bizarre case. Thank goodness. Thank goodness it doesn't always happen. So Hunter's obviously very emotional after all of this that happened early this morning, but the man who stole that vehicle, he his name is not being released because he has not yet been charged. Reporting live this evening, I'm Coco McAvoy, Local 4. But Coco, I can only imagine the long list of charges coming against the man who stole that police car, though. Yes, I mean, we're talking about fleeing and eluding police, also taking a woman against her will, mm -hmm. and of course, obviously stealing that vehicle. So a lot of charges he's yep. facing. Yep, big trouble. Okay, Coco, we appreciate it. Devin.